Lesson three homework. Number one, draw a model, then write the numerical expressions. The sum of 21 and four doubled. So I'm gonna draw my model and we're gonna have the sum of 21 and four. So sum means that we are adding. So I'm gonna have 21 plus four, but then it's doubled, so I have two of them. And if I write that as an expression, I could write 21 plus four plus 21 plus four, but we're gonna, they want us to simplify it. So instead, we're gonna do 21 plus four, and then doubled would be times two. And we don't need to answer it because it says to write the expressions. An expression does not have the answer. If it said write the equation, then we would find the answer. Five times the sum of seven and 23. So again, the sum means that we are adding, and we're gonna do five times. So when I draw my model, I'm gonna have five equal parts, and each one would have seven plus 23 in it. So my expression would say five times the sum of seven and 23. Letter C, two times the difference between 49 and 5 tenths and 37 and 5 tenths. So two times the difference, so we're gonna have two groups of them. This time it's difference. Difference means subtracting. So two times the difference between 49 and 5 tenths and 37 and 5 tenths. So if we were to write that, we would have two times 49 and 5 tenths minus 37 and 5 tenths. The sum, so again, sum means adding of 3 fifteens and 4 twos. So 3 fifteens, that's saying three groups of 15. So I'm going to have 3 fifteens and then four twos, so four groups of two. So I have three fifteens, so three times 15, plus, because we're adding them together, four groups of two. The difference between nine thirty-sevens and eight thirty-sevens. So difference means subtracting, so here, I'm gonna draw two different models. So we have nine 37s, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's nine 37s. So if we had thir 37 in each of those, and then the difference, so minus eight 37s. So the difference is gonna be that piece right there. So we have, nine thirty-sevens minus eight thirty-sevens. Triple the sum of 45 and 55. So we have triple, which means three times what we're adding is 45 and 55. So three groups of 45 plus 55. So triple that, three times 45 plus 55. Number two, write the numerical expression in words, then solve. So what we have here, we're just gonna say what we see. So we have 10 times, so I'm, but we wouldn't write it in words. So 10 times, and then we have to look at what is in between the next two numbers. So we have an addition sign, so we're gonna say the sum of, because sum means add, 10 times the sum of two and five tenths. Let's see, were they writing it out up here? No, I'm just gonna write two and five tenths and 13 and 5 tenths. 
then it wants us to actually find the answer. So 2 and 5 tenths plus 13 and 5 tenths, let's add those together. So we get 16. So this is basically saying 10 times 16, which would be 160. Letter B. 98 minus 78. We, we need to write that in words. So the subtraction means the difference. So we're going to say the difference between 98 and 78, or the difference of 98 and 78. times 11. So 98 minus 78, that's 20 times 11. And we know that 20 times 10 would be 200. So one more group of that would be 20. So 200 plus 20, this would be 220. 71 plus 29 times 26. So plus sign means sum. So the sum of 71 and 29 and you could say times 26 you could say multiplied by 26 either one would work let's say multiplied by so this doesn't always have one clear answer when you're writing it out there could be multiple ways to say this so 71 plus 29 that's 100 times 26 that would be 2,600. Part D, 50 times 2 plus 15 times 2. So what we're doing is adding in between and multiplying on the other parts of the problem. So we're going to have the sum of, because we're adding these two together, so let's say the sum of two groups of 50 Oops. and we also have 15 groups of 2 now again you could have come up with something different but they could mean the same thing so there's not one clear-cut answer here so 50 times 2 that's 100 plus 15 times 2, that's 30, so we would have 130. Number 3, compare the two expressions using greater than, less than, or equal to. In the space beneath each pair of expressions, explain how you can compare without calculating. Draw a model if it helps you. So here, I see we have 93 times 40 plus 2, so that's going to be 93 times 42, just to simplify it a little bit. And then we have 40 plus 2, that's 42 times 39. Now looking at these, I see we're multiplying by 42 each time. Using the commutative property, they can switch places. So this is the same thing as saying 39 times 42. So we're really comparing 93 times 42 and 39 times 42. Now 93 is much larger than 39. So 93 groups of 42 is going to be greater than 39 groups of 42. So without solving, I know that this one will be much larger. Uh, 61 times 25, and then 60 25s. So 60 25s, that would be 60 times 25. 60 groups of 25 minus 125, which is just minus 25. So if this one is just 61 times, 61 times 25. This is 60 times 25. 60 times 25 is already smaller than 61 25, and then we're even subtracting a little bit more. So this one will be greater. Number four, Larry claims that 14 plus 12 times 8 plus 12 and 14 times 12 plus 8 times 12 are equivalent because they have the same digits and the same operations. Is Larry correct? Um, Larry would not be correct because when we're looking at 14 plus 12, that's going to be a very different answer than 14 times 12. 
Same with 8 plus 12. That's going to be very different than 8 times 12. And so Larry would not be correct. So we can say something like, no, because 14 plus 12 is going to be greater than 14 times 12. And 8 plus 12 would be greater than 8 times 12. Oops, it's the opposite. These would be less than. 14 plus 12 is less than 14 times 12, and 8 plus 12 is less than 8 times 12. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that those answers are going to be bigger, because then once we multiply or add, that's going to change things. But I can safely say that no, they are not going to have the same answer. Okay, which expression is greater? Okay, now they want us to actually solve it. So 14 plus 12, let's start with that one. I'll write it out. 14 plus 12 times 8 plus 12. Let's solve that one. So 14 plus 12, that's 26 times 8 plus 12 is 20. And if we break it up like we were doing in the last lesson and make it 20 times 20 plus 6 times 20, we'll get 400 plus 120, which is 520. And then the next one was 14 times 12. plus 8 times 12. So 14 times 12, we can break that apart too. So I'll have 10 times 12 plus 4 times 12, and that's 120 plus 48, which would give me 168, plus 8 times 12 is 96. So 168 plus 96 equals 264. So again, that just proves our point for part A, that they are not equal. And then, so we would say this one is greater. And then we need to find the difference. So difference would mean we need to subtract. So 520 minus 264 would be 256. Just label that so we know it's part of our answer. And that's it.